We're on. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have uh, we have some aluminum and. That didn't really show up, did it? There's a little bit of glow. Yeah, I think I'll have to uh, to add a little bit more. I need to add a little bit more aluminum to this. But while we're doing it, go ahead and touch this. Oh, yeah. It's really hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's melting, and actually, you can't keep your... Ouch. Yeah. You can't really keep your hand on it for very long. Mm. But uh, to demonstrate the effect again, I'll... Uh, ouch. Ooh, that is hot. <laughs> so what we're doing is... Oops, and that thing's coming off. So all we did was, if we come over here, we just take some aluminum foil from the dinner plate and stuff it in. I'll use a little bit more. I gather this on streets. There's always people throwing these things away. Right? So mm. lots of aluminum wasted in the world. And even though it's got food waste on it, it doesn't matter. It's filthy. Take some lye, which can be sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide made from wood ash, and pour that in. And then it starts to bubble. That's really low. Sorry. Oh, sure. Just hit OK. It just starts to bubble and it's making hydrogen gas. So, very quickly, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very hot. So I'll put it on here. And then, here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. so as you can see, yeah. that's hydrogen yeah. coming out of here. And there's yeah. a lot of it from yeah. a very small amount of, of aluminum. And yeah. I assume that's still on, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually get quite a bit from each aluminum, from each plate of aluminum foil that you have. You can get quite a, uh, a large amount of hydrogen gas and heat. This is extraordinarily hot. It must be 60 degrees Celsius, and you can use that to heat the biogas digester. And then rather than burning the hydrogen directly, because hydrogen is hazardous, you run the hydrogen into the biogas digester, the bacteria eat the hydrogen, and turn it into CH4, mm -hmm. methane gas, mm -hmm. which is a lot safer and easier to control. Mm -hmm. And so that's our idea, is to use waste aluminum that will not be recycled, particularly really dirty dinner plate stuff covered in organic guck turn that into hydrogen and heat for heating the biogas digester and feeding the biogas mm. digester to make more methane. That's great, huh? Yeah, but it is, I mean, as you can see, it's still coming out. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a nice yellow flame mm -hmm. that is produced there. So, I mean, the idea that, that hydrogen is somehow difficult to produce and that you have to electrolyze water and use a lot of energy uh, when we have lots of waste aluminum and you can make the potassium hydroxide from wood ash uh, it's, it's just ridiculous that the public is not dialoguing about using garbage mm. to run the hydrogen economy. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, uh, yeah, and that's extraordinary. It's actually melting, this plastic. Oh, that's great, oh it's yeah. actually, it, there it is again. There's still more. Because <laughs> oh. you see, if I, if I um, squeeze the bottle, you get more <laughs> hydrogen. And I don't want it to backflash. Normally, if you're going to try this, put brass wool in here to keep the flame from going yes. back. Mm. I'm only not worried because it's a tiny little pillbox and if it did explode it would just shoot back like a rocket. Uh, and you should wear goggles when you do this. <laughs> Don't do what I do. <laughs> wear goggles, wear gloves, be safe, put the brass wool, flash arrestor, do all that. But I wanted to show you that in fact the reaction does work and it's really simple. Thanks a lot. Oh, yay. There's